Good evening, folks. My name is Amiibo Jason, and welcome to the Daily Wiretap for the evening of March 16th, 2017. Every evening, the Daily Wiretap takes a look at the top stories in the world of Nintendo and wraps it up into a nice, neat little package so you don't have to. Let's take a look and see what's going on today. First up tonight, Nintendo Switch loading speed tests. The Nintendo Switch seems to be built around the user getting expandable memory by way of micro SD cards, assuming they will be shelling out for digital games. This does raise some questions regarding load times, however, so Eurogamer's Digital Foundry set out to investigate. They tested the biggest Switch game out so far, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, loading in a variety of locations across all three storage mediums, SD cards, internal storage, and the good old game cartridge. What they discovered was the physical cartridge loads the slowest, the SD cards having a slight edge over the carts, and the internal storage resulting in the fastest load times, sometimes shaving off up to five seconds. Unfortunately, to enjoy these faster load times, it's a little finicky making a game download directly to your console's internal storage, as the default directory is the micro SD card if one is inserted. You'd have to remove the micro SD card and then initiate the download, wait for it to complete, and then reinsert. Thankfully, these load time discrepancies aren't too major, but it's always good to know. Next up this evening, Project Sonic 2017 is now Sonic Forces. The gameplay world premiere for Sonic Forces was unveiled at the Gotta Go Fast panel at South by Southwest. Taking inspiration from both Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors, the new entry in the Sonic franchise looks fast, fluid, and fun. Not much gameplay was shown, but plenty of information was given out on the title that will hit shelves this holiday season. First of all, the engine that's been behind some of Sonic's best games has been rebuilt from the ground up for Sonic Forces, with a specific emphasis on rendering lighting and shadows quickly. The revamped Hedgehog Engine 2 aims to ensure that Sonic Forces will look even better than ever. It was also revealed that there's going to be three styles of gameplay. This was also revealed a few months back, but it's been confirmed that Sonic Forces will contain gameplay from Modern Sonic, Classic Sonic, and a third unknown character that will tout its own unique style of play. The gameplay shown at the panel featured Modern Sonic blazing through the city as it was being attacked, and it looked absolutely gorgeous. Look for more details on both Classic Sonic levels and the new style in the coming months. And finally, there's several returning elements. Music has always been a strong point in Sonic games, and it seems that trend will continue with Sonic Forces. A sample track was played at the event, and it sounded just as catchy and upbeat as you would expect from a Sonic game. The modern Sonic-style gameplay emulated the boost-to-win layout of recent 3D Sonic offerings. One feature the panelists pointed out is that Wisps are returning from Sonic Colors to help build up Sonic's boost gauge. Panelists were also very quick to point out that attacking enemies will also increase your boost gauge. Hidden red rings will also be making a return, so you'll definitely be returning to levels to hunt down every last one. Can't wait to see it yourself? Check out the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube page tomorrow at 8 a.m. to see the new gameplay from Sonic Forces. Make sure you head back to Nintendo Wire on Sunday for the newest edition of Sonic Sunday, where we dive into these new details even further. And finally this evening, Sonic Mania pushed back to summer 2017 and a new classic zone reveal. The highly anticipated Sonic Mania was originally slated for a spring 2017 release, but has been pushed back to summer instead. No details have been provided about a specific release date yet. But we do have some good news, a new classic zone has also been revealed for Sonic Mania. The fan favorite flying battery zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles will make its grand return in the upcoming Sonic title. In the meantime, you can take a look at the amazing flying battery zone trailer right here, right now. And that's going to wrap up another installment of the Daily Wiretap for the evening of March 16th, 2017. As always, you can find a link to the full written article down in the description below. And if you're looking for more amazing Nintendo coverage, head on over to NintendoWire.com where we have more of it than we know what to do with. So come on over and get some. See you guys tomorrow!